continuing with MRS so I have the utility function as x1 square x2 square the MRS x1 x2 will be given by del u by del x1 by del u by del x2 which would be given by 2 x1 x2 square upon x1 square into 2 x2 so if I just solve this I would get x2 by x1 so the slope of this curve x1 x2 square would be x2 by x1 I would like to now go further and talk about the different types of indifference curve and the first one that I want to talk about is perfect substitutes so the perfect substitutes uh, consumer is only concerned about the total number the consumer is not concerned about what individual amount he is consuming so the utility function is given by say x1 plus x2 is equal to 10 so I'm concerned that the total utility should be 10 and it can be by any combination so it can be by 10 units of good 1 and 0 units of good 2 or it can be with 0 units of good 1 and 10 units of good 2 so this is very simple to plot so if I have to plot this with axis x1 and x2 this would look something like this so this will show you utility of 10 so now the point is that since the consumer is not concerned about individual points about individual units he is only concerned about total quantity what should he go for should he go for good 1 or should he go for good 2 so he will go for any good which is cheaper we will discuss this more in the next chapter but just just to make a point so if the price of x1 is less than the price of x2 then he should go for he should buy all of good one and if the price of x1 is greater than the price of x2 then he should buy all of good two okay all right so now let's go to the slope what should be the slope so slope i have defined so the utility function is x1 plus x2 and the slope I have defined as MRS and the slope is given by del u by del x1 upon del u by del x2 and this is given here by so differentiate this with respect to x1 you get 1 and differentiate this so with a negative sign obviously and differentiate this with respect to x2 you get 1 so the slope is minus 1 now let's go further and I'll give you a question which you have to solve so find MRS for utility function 2x1 plus x2 ok right so the answer would be I hope you have got this thing ok so now let's go to perfect complementary goods so I want to go to perfect complements so what are perfect complements so perfect complements are the goods that are used together like left shoe and right shoe pair or bread and butter tea and sugar okay so they are used together so the function 
is given by the following. So this is how my function is defined. All right. And why is the function defined in this way? So it holds as follows. So supposedly, consider the following. I have 10 left shoe and 10 right shoe. I am able to make 10 pairs. Now supposedly I have 11 left shoes and 10 right shoe. How many pairs can I make? 10 pairs. Supposedly I have 12 left shoe and 10 right shoe. How many pairs can I make? 10 pairs. Supposedly I have 10 left shoe and 11 right shoe. How many pairs can I make? 10 pairs. So, what, so whatever is the min whatever is the min here it is 10 here it is 10 here 10 here 10 that's the number of pairs that i can make so the utility will depend on whatever is the min so whether i have 10 of this and 10 of this which is this king or i have 11 of the left shoe and 10 of the right shoe i'm taking right shoe on the uh, y axis so 10 of the right shoe and 11 of the left shoe which is this point or 10 of the left shoe and 11 of the right shoe which is this point all this point this point this point this point should give you the same utility because then in all these cases you're just able to make 10 pairs so this is the form of the utility function now what if i ask you to calculate the slope of this so you have to understand this this ways now So, for, for calculating the slope, I will calculate it in three parts. So, consider this region. For this region, perpendicular by base would be perpendicular by zero. Because if I take two points, there is no base for this point. There is just perpendicular. So, perpendicular by zero and anything by zero is infinity. Okay. Now, consider these two points. For this point, perpendicular by base will be perpendicular, will be 0 because there is no perpendicular in this case by base which would be 0. So the slope will be 0. And now consider this point. On the kink, perpendicular by base would be 0 by 0 because there is no perpendicular and no base and 0 by 0 is not defined. So then I can say that the slope is infinite when you are talking about region A to B A at B the slope is not defined and from B to say C the slope is 0 ok great now I want to tell you something about what are neutrals, what are goods and what are bads. So what is a neutral good? So a good is called a neutral good if the consumer doesn't really care about it one way or the other. So for example, I am neutral about the amount of air that I intake so now what happens is the following if I take air on the y-axis and say I take chocolates on the x-axis so the thing is as follows if I consume one chocolate and whatever amount of air I get a certain amount of utility if I increase if I keep on increasing the amount of air for one chocolate the utility remains constant the moment I increase the chocolate from 1 to 2 
the utility will increase. 